Let's go. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. You can't stop. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Um, I was that suicidal friend that wanted to kill myself. And uh, I guess what stopped me was coming to 620, feeling like that you being here was like super irrelevant. So I guess what I was looking for was someone to tell me that this is not the end, you know what I'm saying? Like this is not the final stage. There's always something better. There's always something out there for you. And um, everybody's here for a purpose. So if you kill yourself, you can never fulfill your true purpose. So um, if I would have done that, I don't know, I guess I would have never been able to tell my atheist friend about God and then have him get baptized, you know what I'm saying? So I think that people who want to commit suicide, they lack, they feel like they're lacking attention. So they want someone to be that shoulder of the crown. They want somebody to be like, um, their support system. They don't want to, because sometimes when you're suicidal, you don't really want to tell anyone. So if they, if I'm telling you I want to commit suicide, I mean, I trust you with everything that I'm feeling. So it will be like a total violation for you to be like, like telling me that that's stupid. Don't ever say it's stupid. Don't ever say that what they're feeling isn't right. You should always try to understand where they're coming from and then suggest well, maybe you should go talk to someone like, you know, a counselor or preferably a minister. You should pick up on the signs, too. That's a really, really big thing. Like, if, if people want to commit suicide, they want people to notice that they're changing without you actually saying, I'm changing.